Good morning and welcome back to my channel. It's a brisk 44 degrees, 45 degrees right now. So that's why I have a pullover on. Today I'm going to do some harvesting of my brassicas and lettuce. And while I'm doing so, I'm, I'm going to be thinking how much my harvest is going to be worth. So afterwards, I'm going to look up um, the prices of what I harvest at my local Publix online and then total up what my harvest is worth. Okay, the first thing I'm going to harvest are my turnips. This is a nice big group. Okay, nice harvest of them. Next, we're going to go get turnips and collards. a good time to get them.
Nice punch. Next, we will get the collards.
Okay. Really good harvest of greens. And next we're going to do some lettuce. Okay, this is a butter crunch lettuce. And instead of taking the leaves, I'm just going to take one of the plants, maybe two. I can get down there. Here's two. Okay, I'm going to go get some romaine lettuce and okay, we have butter crunch lettuce and one head of romaine. Next up will be Chinese cabbage and a savoy cabbage, and one bok choy. Okay, this is Chinese cabbage. I'm only gonna remove this one. Nice big head. Just trim it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, next, Savoy cabbage. Okay, this particular cabbage isn't all that big, but I have to remove it because it's over or covering up other plants. So let's get rid of it. These aren't gonna do. Let's get my other ones. These aren't gonna work either. Let's go get my Okay, here we hurry. And there's the head. It's enough for my family and myself. Oh, 
Okay, and this is the bok choy I was speaking of. We're gonna take the whole plant. Trim it up a little bit. There we go, nice and beautiful. Now, let's go and see how much my total is. Okay, there we go, final harvest. Mustards. Collard greens. Butter crunch lettuce and romaine lettuce. One bok choy. One Savoy cabbage. One Chinese cabbage. And about 15 small turnips with the roots. So let's see how much everything is and we'll give you a total price. Okay, the turnips, I'm sorry, the collard greens at Publix, which is my local grocer. Um, it's, they're $4.41 per bunch. And I figure I have about three bunches here. So figure that's $12 or $13 and 23 cents. The mustards, The mustard greens are also 441, and I figure I have three bunches of those. So again, that's thirteen dollars and twenty-three cents. The turnip roots here are three dollars and twenty-nine cents for a bag, and there are four in the bag. Well, I have about fifteen plants. So figure that's about $15, $16 with just the roots. And the actual greens themselves are the Publix brand is $3.53, so we'll go with that and figure I have at least three bags, so that's about $10. The Chinese cabbage, let's see how much that is. Chinese cabbage is about $5.50. So this is one, so $5.50. The bok choy is $4.02. So, um, and that's per pound. So I figure this is about a pound, so $4.02. Savoy cabbage. Three dollars and twenty-nine cents. The lettuce. 
Okay, romaine lettuce is about $6.63. So we have one, so $6.63. And butter crunch lettuce. Okay, butter crunch is five dollars and fifty three cents, and we have two of those, so let's round it off to eleven dollars. So let's go and add everything up. So my harvest today, with totaling everything up, it's about sixty. Seven dollars and fifty-four cents, and this is how much um, I saved myself just in produce. So, as I've been saying, it's easier for you to grow your own vegetables. You know what you put in them. You know how you grow them, than to go to your local store. And with the cost of everything getting more and more expensive it seems a logical way of doing things so I want to thank you for coming along with me on this harvest and seeing just how much money you can save yourself by growing your own vegetables um, those of you that have homesteads you can you are really saving yourself money right now by having your own hens and having your eggs yourself. In my area, egg, eggs are almost $9 a dozen, which is ridiculous. So I wanna, as I said, I wanna thank you for coming along. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, think about doing so. I can grow a lot of produce, but I can't grow the channel without your help. I know some of you have been watching the channel, and for that, I'm grateful. So go ahead and consider subscribing hit the like button as well that helps with the youtube algorithm make sure you hit the notification bell you'll be notified whenever i upload new content everything that i use in my garden is located in the comment section of, um, at my amazon storefront and also on my website um, everything that i'm affiliated with also is listed and you can get some decent discounts so uh, if you haven't started preparing for um, spring, go ahead and look at everything and consider do it, doing so and save yourself some money in the process. Until next time, stay strong, stay blessed, and grow, grow, grow.